You know how post-match interviews can get intense, but what happened with Felipe Contepomi after Argentina's loss to the Springboks goes beyond the usual. During the press conference, the Argentine coach had a controversial moment that is stirring quite a bit of talk. It all started when a South African journalist asked a question that didn't sit well with Contepomi, and the coach didn't hesitate to express his frustration, leaving the room after a direct confrontation with the reporter. Visibly irritated, Contepomi was asked whether he had visited referee Ben O'Keefe's dressing room during halftime, allegedly upset with some decisions in the first half of the match. The coach wasn't pleased with the insinuation and responded categorically, denying any visit to the dressing room and making it clear that the accusation was, in his words, a lie. Uh, Philippe, we received a report that you approached the ref's changer with half time and you were quite upset because you made Sorry? We heard that you approached the ref's changer with half time and you were quite upset. Well, you heard wrong because I don't know where is the changing room. I didn't go to the halftime changing room, so I don't know where you take it from, but it, it's a bad thing to say because I never go to the changing room of a ref at halftime. So I'm disappointed that you asked that question and I would like to know where you take it from. I'm asking where you take it from. But the story didn't end there. The journalist, without revealing his source, insisted that he had received a message from someone inside the stadium about Contepomi's alleged visit to the referee. Even with this response, the Argentine coach didn't relent and reinforced his criticism of the journalist's approach, stating that he had always maintained a professional relationship with the referee and had only spoken with him after the match, as usual. I only talked to the referee after the game and it was in a, obviously in a way, I, I know Ben O'Keefe very well and we chat and I said we, we have, I, I sent him the review and he said yes and we are okay in terms of inter interchanging. It's just uh, things but it, it's nothing that... Uh... However, before leaving the room, Contepomi delivered one final sharp rebuke. Uh, I'm surprised that you got the bad information. You need to be careful because you're a reporter, you know, you need to check your information because you're, that's a lie. Uh, sorry, for me it's a uh, last question. We'll, okay. we'll finish. We'll Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you, maybe you're he hearing wrong. I didn't go in the, in the afterwards. afterwards. All I wanted to ask is did you disagree with some of the calls? So why did you have that serious chat with the with serious police afterwards? <laughs> Now, the lingering question is, did such an interaction really take place during halftime, or was it just a poorly substantiated rumour? Moreover, how might this kind of situation affect the team's morale, given that Argentina had been enjoying a promising campaign in the rugby championship? And what about the journalist? Did he push too far by raising this issue? Was Contepomi's reaction disproportionate or justified? How far should reporters go when asking tough questions without crossing the line? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments and join in on this heated debate.